X-Men 97 is absolutely incredible, tossing tons of twists and turns at us and a lot of unexpected moments. Well, one unexpected thing is who exactly is going to be revealed to be the villain considering there was a lot of theories going into this series, and well, unexpectedly, some of these characters are now dead, such as Magneto. So who is the exact villain of the series? Well, there's a theory out there that I think is pretty good, and this was a theory I had that I teased previously. In the latest episode of X-Men 97, we go to Genosha, where we see tons of mutants. Popular name mutants, recognizable mutants like Dazzler, Azazel, and countless others all there. And by the end of the episode, we see a lot of carnage and death as Genosha is absolutely destroyed by a giant, well, Godzilla-like sentinel, as they call it. And, well, um, tons of characters die. But again, who's the villain? Who's behind all of this? And are they, in fact, already in front of our very own eyes? The answer to this is actually yes. The villain has been in front of our eyes the entire time. This character, the villain of X-Men 97, has the ability to just kind of be in the exact locations where things go wrong, and she always seems to be somehow surviving the situation and never gets caught in collateral damage. And if you've been watching the series and paying attention, her eyes have actually changed color already, and this is none other than the character of Valerie Cooper. Now, the eye changing color here is the key to it. Remember when I made the video talking about how this here was not Jean Grey, this was going to be Madeline, and a lot of people got mad at me, said I didn't know what I was talking about, I was just trying to get people excited for the wrong thing. Isn't that funny? Because isn't that what all you guys do with scoopers? You just believe everything they say and then you get upset at the people that try to dis... Never mind. Anyways, if her eyes are changing colors, this might be a clear-cut indication that this is one specific character from Marvel Comics that's been very well associated with this. And also, if you've been paying attention to X-Men 97, Kevin Feige is clearly a fan of of X-Men First Class. Well, this character is Mystique. Now again, I'm not sure if it's gonna be like her brainwashed, a full-on revenge plot where she does this by herself or whatever, but I think it's pretty evident that it's the one character we haven't seen, they keep referencing others, and again, it just all seems to make sense. So it'll be interesting to see what happens next and how they play with this, but I 100% believe that she has been in front of our very own eyes since the beginning, and the revelation will be pretty impactful. 